Uh, the allegations against uh, former uh, Vice President Kylie is, uh, has obviously come as a shock um, to a lot of people in the European Parliament. Um, such grave and massive uh, corruption um, is obviously not only an individual problem, but it really shakes the institution. Today, the World Cup in Qatar is a proof, actually, of how sports diplomacy can achieve a historical transformation of a country with reforms that inspired the Arab world. I alone said that Qatar is a front runner in labor rights, abolishing kafala and reducing minimum wage, despite the challenges that even European companies are denying to enforce these laws. I can tell you as a member of the European Parliament, uh, when we voted on the Qatar resolution uh, in the last plenary week, um, there were already a lot of questions why some MEPs, for example, were tabling certain amendments, how the voting behavior of some MEPs was, also the speeches that were given. I mean, most notably the speech of um, Eva Kaili, who defended Qatar um, very vigorously. Um, and I think this will have to be clarified because obviously it's an absolutely unacceptable situation and uh, that members of a parliament take money and then uh, consequently take certain political stances. We are elected to represent the interest uh, of the citizens and this is what should, uh, our, uh, that's what our mandate should be about.